Are you looking for an unforgettable night out? Why not head to Niles Peacock Kitchen and Bar on the Edmonds waterfront? This cozy spot serves up award-winning pizzas and specialty craft cocktails. Come in and try one of Niles' amazing creations. I'm Niles Peacock, and I own and operate Niles Peacock Kitchen and Bar here in Edmonds, Washington. At Niles Peacock Kitchen and Bar, we serve craft cocktails and also elevated craft pizza using a 128-year-old sourdough starter given to me by my friend and pizza mentor, Will Grant. I first bar started bartending when I was in college in New York City. I was throwing parties uh, as a side hustle at nightclubs, and someone that went to my parties owned a bar and asked me if I would bartend, and I said, absolutely. So that was my, my gateway into bartending. I came to Edmonds originally in 2016 as the bar manager of a newly opened restaurant called 190 Sunset. A few years after that, I went to open up my first craft cocktail bar in Seattle, down on Stoneway. And shortly before that, I did James Beard Taste America, raising the bar. I found out through my architect that there were no permits allowing me to open up a craft cocktail bar <laughs> only a few weeks before opening. So I had to apply for a regular restaurant license, meaning I had to submit a full family-friendly restaurant menu with everything on it in order to open so that I could have a cocktail bar. When I moved up to Edmonds, moved the restaurant up here, I knew that I needed to become my own chef. I needed to become my own creator of a pizza dough. So I sought out world champion pizza chef, Will Grant, to help me develop my own dough recipe. Months later, I'm competing in Vegas and then coming back with first place for best pizza. So it's been a very steep learning curve, but also a lot of fun. And I'm obsessed with both. Pizza is something that can be enjoyed by everybody, anywhere, at any time, even the day after. My best-selling pizza is called My Hot Date. That's a pizza done with a garlic oil brushed crust, whole milk mozzarella, gorgonzola, garlic rubbed dates. And when it comes out of the oven, we brush it with a glaze of balsamic reduction. It's absolutely delightful. And that pizza I used in the first pizza competition that I did in Las Vegas. How I come up with drinks creatively for cocktails uh, started back when I was in Aspen and I didn't have any bartending knowledge at all. I was running a bar there, but worried that they were gonna find out that they had hired the wrong person because I really wasn't educated. So I started learning by going into the kitchen and asking the chef, to teach me how to make syrups and how to make a tincture and what kind of flavors went together. So what I did was bring a notepad, put on an apron, and I go in and ask questions. I was also inadvertently learning great knife skills. So my approach to cocktail making came from the culinary side. And in my way of thinking at that time was that if I could make anything that would taste well with food, being taught by a chef, I just had to learn how to apply that to a liquid format so that I could make it in a drink. One of our signature cocktails is called Plead the Fifth. That cocktail took first place in a competition a few years ago, and we've had it on the menu ever since. It's a bourbon-based cocktail with equal parts of bourbon, and we make a falernum sour here that we mix with that. And that's a syrup base, like a simple syrup, that I make with ginger root, lemon peel, lime peel, cinnamon, nutmeg, and clove. So it's got this mulling spice flavor going on there. But then we also mix that with fresh lime juice, so it's tart and snappy, not overly sweet or cloying. I absolutely love being a part of this community. It's such a great feeling to go out and know the people in the environment that we live in. And the business owners here are a small community and everybody here really supports each other. If you haven't come to check us out, we hope you do. And if you had, well, we hope to have you keep coming back.